Hello guys, welcome back. I accidentally lost you there. The recording ended a little prematurely. I'm not quite sure how that happened. Um, but we are back and I have built the bridge over the River Clyde. No, I haven't. Uh, we're going straight to Little John Station where we're going to collect all the vegetables. And then Manchester, the warehouse there, is going to collect vegetables. And then Birmingham, the, uh, the warehouse there, is going to collect vegetables. In addition to that, we have got a route all the way down through Oxford to London. Um, I'm not quite sure where I lost you, if I'm being honest. So, um, a bit of comeback um, required. Anyway, we are flying on all pistons firing at the same time, which is very nice. Three cities with 100,000 citizens or more. We're not far off getting our second one there. That would be Birmingham. <coughs> Once they get 90,000, but their fulfillment demand is a bit low, so what are they lacking? Milk and vegetables, and of course, or fruit. So when the vegetables come in, Birmingham should, I think, grow to 100%. London is still just over 120,000. And Oxford has grown, so I wanted to put something in Oxford. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a sawmill. And hopefully that's going to make us quite a bit of cash, because I don't think there are any other sawmills around that I know of. So we should be providing sawn wood to everybody. I'm not bidding 700,000 on that. What a ridiculous request. Research-wise, we're pretty much there. We've got, I think, everything. We'll take the rehabilitation option and get more employees and also more connections to the underworld, which is something I, I'm not really interested in doing that, but, you know, let's be honest, um, people definitely did do that. Most definitely they did do that. I bought the uh, Banks farm. That belongs to us. Uh, you can see we've got no produce whatsoever. We're going to have to expand that company so that we're actually producing enough vegetables to supply demand. And I imagine this is uh, probably yeah getting full rather quickly. What's this? Bonus for new industry, 310,000. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll put something in there uh, for 310,000. New production, what should we put in there? We could make beer. That seems a bit silly. Is there anything up there that no one else could get? It's like vegetables. There's no milk. Weaving mill. Oh no, we've already got that. Alright, fashion then. Let's do fashion. We're already creating the uh, the weave there, so why not? I mean, the one in York is a bit pointless, but never mind. We'll change that for something else when I'm ready. So we've got 300,000 back for that. That's a free business right there. Very nice. Cannot complain at that. Right, how's the business is this is the lines doing? Vegetables to Carlisle. <laughs> So that's making a loss, primarily because there were no vegetables to transport. Still not enough vegetables. More vegetables, damn it. 648,000 for that. Any second now. Boom. Producing enough vegetables for the whole of England, nearly. Let's take a look and see if Manchester's getting any of those vegetables. Yes, they have one vegetable for Liverpool. It's quite exciting. Did have Birmingham, Birmingham got any? Has it reached Birmingham yet? No, Birmingham have nothing as yet. But almost everything comes in and goes out of Birmingham, so... As long as we have something heading in that direction, we'll, we'll be happy. Manchester has grown. Oh, wicked. What can I put in Manchester? Not 
really afford anything, if I'm being honest. Paper mill? That's 450,000. I'd love to do cheese, but we can't really. Distillery is not going to make any sense. The ceramics factory, isn't, there's no point in that. What does this need? Coal. There's coal there, but we haven't got any at the moment. Let's just go with the paper mill at 450,000. That will increase the profits we make from our wood mill, one hopes. Because their demand will go up. Let's have a look at our wood mill. How are we doing? Oh, we've got... got tons. Why do we have so much wood? This should be going everywhere. Maintenance. Dispatch hall. Make a quicker turnarounds. Um, so we've only got two trains on this. Let's double it up to four. Sure Another we're... step in the right direction, but don't let it go to your head. Oh, we've done you it. there! Stop slouching! No oh. discipline. It's a miracle you've completed your tasks. Hello. I'm here on behalf of the company board. I just wanted to take a moment to express our collective thanks for your work. So far, we are very impressed with your achievements, but we still expect even greater things from you. You! Winter. How dare you praise my employees behind my back? Too much buttering up makes one fat and lazy. The nerve! Have you heard of the Great Northern Railway? A dangerous enemy that could leave us in the dust if you don't do something about it. So, what are you waiting for? Right, okie dokie. So, let's put a pause on that for a second, take a look at what we're going to be doing in the next episode. Uh, we're still trying to achieve this. I think that's going to be more possible. Um, we're almost certainly going to hit 30 million, I think. Uh, buy four private routes. Have 80% of travellers take the train from Carlisle to Plymouth. Okay, that's interesting. Deliver four loads of liquor to London. Note that there is no demand for liquor in London until its population reaches 60,000. Yeah, we're twice that already. Okay, um, I don't think that's going to be too difficult. Um, I was thinking about utilizing York as a liquor distillery as soon as we've got Dobbs Farm just down the road so uh, that could that could tally up quite nicely I was also thinking about buying all this yellow track down here so maybe we can um, complete our mission quite fast next time around thanks for watching I'll see you in the next one till then take care goodbye for now